According to the CDC, people of any age can develop a stomach ulcer and over 25 million Americans will suffer from an ulcer at some point during their lifetime. Gastroenterologist Dr. Merdad S. Gary reveals the causes, symptoms, and treatments for stomach ulcers. Stomach ulcers occur because of the damage to the lining of the stomach due to acid. If we take pain medications, including Aleve, Advil ibuprofen family called NSAIDs, or if we have infection in our stomach called H. pylori, the integrity of the mucosal layer protecting against acid being jeopardized. Therefore, acid erodes and causes ulcer. The complications of the stomach ulcers include severe pain in the stomach, bleeding, and perforation, which is a hole in the stomach wall they are life-threatening. The symptoms of the stomach ulcer are feeling full, bloated, severe pain, especially the pain wakes you up in the middle of the night, nausea, vomiting, throwing up coffee ground blood, and seeing blood in the stool or tarry black stools. Ulcers are due to NSAIDs are usually benign. They do not become cancer. Yet, if the ulcer recurs or does not respond for the treatment, the chance of the cancer is high. How do we diagnose the ulcer is by endoscopy. Endoscopy is by which the gastroenterologist puts you to sleep, puts his scope, which has a camera on its tip, down to your throat in the stomach, evaluates the stomach, and biopsy the stomach. If the ulcer there, then we can treat with anti-acid medicines called PPI, which includes Nexium, Omeprazole, and that family. These medications suppress the acid secretion strongly and gives the time for the mucosa to heal completely. The success rate of the treatment is extremely good, up to 99%. Dr. Asgari defines the bacteria H. pylori and its diagnosis. Helicobacter pylori, called H. pylori, is an infection of the stomach lining. This germ is so resistant that can actually survive in very acidic environment of the stomach. This particular germ is associated with stomach ulcers. Additionally, it can cause gastric ulcers and cancers. We diagnosed H. pylori with biopsy in the stomach and treat it with antibiotics and confirm that has been completely eradicated. The recurrence of the H. pylori is very rare as we are washing our hands and watching for hygiene manners in our life. Dr. S. Gary lists risk factors for developing stomach ulcers. Gastric ulcers are not familiar. The major risk factors for gastric ulcers include in taking the pain medications, they prohibit the production of the mucus layer protecting the erosion of acid in the wall of the stomach. The other risk factors include aging, smoking, excessive drinking, and obesity. The chance of the stomach ulcer turn to be cancer increases when the ulcer does not respond to the treatment or recurs. There are prevention strategies for stomach ulcers. Preventing gastric ulcers is possible by not taking NSAIDs and taking other medications like Tylenol or Ultram, which are stomach friendly. Should you need to take NSAIDs, including Aleve, then you have to take and combine it with PPIs like Omeprazole or Nexium. Also, we have to eradicate the infection of H. pylori to prevent gastric ulcers to occur. If you have this kind of symptoms, don't be afraid to go to your doctor because the treatment of the stomach ulcers are very successful.